band on the planet. They're back together, dude. No doubt. What's up, you guys? What's up? Oh, yeah. All right, you guys have been, you know, a little, little, little break. Obviously, everybody knows that. But uh, is it sweeter this time around, being the fact that you took a little time off as a band to record a studio album? I mean, we had to work really hard to make this record. So I think whenever you work really, really hard and fight, it, the reward is even greater. More so than in, in the past? Like, what do, you, yes. what do you mean harder? What does that mean? Um, just to find time. Like, for me, you know, I have the two boys and, like, trying to get to the studio and write a record. I mean, it's such a, you know, a selfish thing writing a record. You have to, like, put so much time into it and energy. And um, when you're a mom, it's the opposite. You know, you kind of, you have, I'm spread really thin. So it's kind of um, just really rewarding to sit here and go, wow, we really finished the thing. It was a really long journey. And really fun, super fun, and amazing. But to be done now is just a rewarding. Fam- you guys have families, too. I'm sure that was an yeah. issue with you guys, right? Yeah, but they have wives. so Wives can be more difficult, Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Hey. <laughs> Tom has so. three boys, and he sometimes comes to rehearsal and goes to sleep on stage. God, yeah, that's that's true. Really and funny. nobody notices. It's so crazy. <laughs> you know, I will say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. It's true. Like, we took a break, and we all went off and did our, you know, our own things, and... Um, Coming back together, it's it's really exciting this time. We don't, you know, we, we feel really fortunate that we get to do this again, and we're really proud of this record, and we put a lot of work into it, and and here we are. Like it's surreal to be talking about it because we were working on it for quite a while. I'm really so. happy for Tony. You are, yeah. yeah. I'm really happy for you. In Thank what you. way? What do you mean specifically? Just because I just know I know how bad he wanted to get this record done, <laughs> and it, and I was the it's my fault a lot of it why it took so long. So um, I just feel I feel so happy that we got to this point. It's actually crazy when you hear it on the radio you know it never gets old After all this time yes can... it's just like it's you turn it on and, and it's really fun with the boys like i had to convince them every time you leave the house it's like a negotiation like okay uh, mommy's just gonna go to the studio for like a little bit you know it's like this whole thing but why do you have and i had to explain why i come to the radio stations you know like well sometimes you have to go you know how the radio has music that comes on like they can't understand like it's just it's wild to hear it and have them listen to it and just share it finally after all these these years actually of making it. Mm-hmm. Now, Tony, she said you you were like uh, you, you wanted it so bad. Was there a point where you thought that maybe this will never happen again? No, I never thought that we wouldn't make a record. I just didn't know how long it was going to be in between records, you know. And um, but I always knew we'd finish the record. It just it, the one thing we realized is that we you know we started writing in 2008. We had writer's block. It didn't work, so we went on tour in 2009, and we had this amazing, inspiring tour. Played for a lot of people. At, at the time, we had five kids between the band and they were on the side of the stage watching us and it was just this amazing moment for us like you know spending the summer together and going okay this is going to be cool this is going to be fun let's take our time and make the best record we can make and that's what we did and um you know once we got going once we got back from that tour we were inspired um our songwriting juices started flowing again and and here we are now with 11 new songs on a record that we're really proud of not to ask about your kids again but is it you know your kids have never seen you because if my little daughter came in to see me on the radio for the first time I'm like this better be a damn good show you know? <laughs> So, what am I going to say? You know, so is it like a little pressure watching little kids going, what's mommy, what's daddy doing? I don't think it's pressure. It's fun. I mean, I think even the other day when Kingston came to the rehearsal and he was sitting on the stool and he was just like, he was so good. Like, he's not the kind of kid that can sit on a stool for very long. So he was like letting me do the songs and then finally goes, are you done yet? <laughs> I have to go pee. <laughs> Are you done 2013 yet? Ford Fusion will be available fall 2012, but we can let you in on it early. Go to randomaxofusion.com for some details. It's all happening. We're paying your bills. It's not like we really have a lot of control over that at the same time. Like, we're just trying to write the songs. And what do you then, mean? You have all the control over it. Well, it seems like it, but music is weird. Like, we don't really know what we're doing. We're just sort of like, it's like a series of mistakes, and then all of a sudden you have a song. And, <laughs> and then <laughs> it's the That's same the thing. Quote, a series of mistakes, <laughs> now you have a song. That's my whole career. Um, but I feel like it's sort of like, um, it's a really upbeat record, and that, again, surprised us. And But it has a little bit of everything we've done. You know, it has a little bit of reggae. It has a little bit of new wave it it's sort of it's everything that we love you know i think we listen to so much music to make this record you know it could have been anything from like a, a 70s one hit wonder hit that you don't even know the name of the song you're like oh remember that song and and we would listen to so much music and music that just really really moved us and that was like the inspiration for the record since you guys have turned the album in of course it's coming out on the 25th sometimes it happens with artists once the deadline's passed, then this great idea hits you. Like, dude, why didn't we put this song on the album? Has that hit you? And if so, are you trying to squeeze anything else onto the uh, track list? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, perfect. 
Um, you know, we've been, ever since the album came out, we've been like in rehearsals and that whole, we've, we're flipping into live mode, which is so much fun, but it feels like, yeah, we've left the studio behind and now we're like starting to rock. Once again, y'all, no doubts in the studio. Before I play Push and Shove, which is the uh, the second, uh, is it the second single or what? what is it? We don't know. <laughs> we really don't have the answer to that. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's the world of the internet. Who knows? You know, it's ultimately, we want people to hear the record. Obviously, what we're, you know, we're a band that grew up on albums, so you make all these songs that that you you know think tell a story as part of an album. So you're so excited for people to to hear all of it. And you know the way it works is they hear one here and one there and stuff. But you know in three weeks everyone's going to hear everything, and and that's kind of w what I'm super excited about. Well, I think as a songwriter you are like you're like just crossing your fingers like please my biggest dream would be that someone would buy the whole album put on some headphones, open up the words and like just listen to it. You know, because it's like you're you pour so much of yourself into the the record and the idea that someone would just hear one little snippet of that whole moment is just like horrifying. I know you love all the tracks in the album, <laughs> but give me a few must hears. Like if you have, you know, three bucks to your name. <laughs> what are those two or three okay. songs that they have to hear excluding Settle Down and Push and Shove? Okay. One more summer, right? Well, no, I'm going to mark these. Bless down. you. Thank Bless you. you. One more summer, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Um, easy. Okay. Yeah. Um, one more summer, easy. Got it. Um, my favorites. Gravity is one of my favorites, but that's like a girl song, so I don't know. Gravity we'll for girls. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm undone. Undone. Mm -hmm. Undone. You're gonna go through the whole list. Aren't you? <laughs> that's, is that four? Fans of No Doubt, you know, or just music fans in general, just stick that in the back of your head, and we'll compare notes when the album comes out on the 25th. No Doubt. Is that hanging out? It's JoJo oh, on the radio. Looking hot. Oh, hang on. <laughs> She's Gwen Stefani. She gets five songs looking high. All right. We'll back in a second. Number 25th, uh, some of the things aside from music. Gwen, you had the first lady at your house, and I want to hear about this because I, I guess I, what I picture is the, the lead up to her coming in and Secret Service. Yeah. Roman that house. was really weird. Um, it was amazing. She's amazing. She's definitely, like, got that sparkle. There's a reason why she became the first lady. So you're you know? not voting for Mitt Romney, I'm taking. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really weird if I did. Yeah, that'd be really <laughs> odd, yeah. But no, but she, the Secret Service comes to your house. It, they were what coming they do, to though? my house for about two weeks before. I A lot of the time I wasn't actually there, but they, it's like the real deal, like the guns, the, the black coats, the sunglasses, like going through the house, and, you know, even during the party there was areas of the house you couldn't go through during certain part you know it was very organized wow and um the, the party was actually outside in the backyard so nobody was really in but when when she got there they were like okay she's coming everybody has to stand right here like at this spot i'm like my kids are not going to stand in this spot but i'll try my best yeah, they were wild like when she came in it was one of those super embarrassing mom moments where one of them one of them wouldn't look and like was crying and then the other one stepped on the other one's finger and then they cried all over my my silk pink outfit <laughs> it was like and she was so rad because she's a mom and she you know it was all about families and children's health and she has all these issues that she cares about and she just was very gracious and really cared like she spent the time with everybody that was there that was what was amazing and it was so hot that day it was literally it was over 100 degrees but she didn't complain one time not of course. even she was so beautiful as she came out she said hi to almost every single person that was out there i mean she spent way more time than she was supposed to and then she went on to do another charity event like right afterward cool she's, she's just so elegant truly an amazing lady and her speech was was quite impressive as well you, you reach out to you know shake her hand and she'll she'll just bear hug you and she'll be like like, Tony, it's so nice to see you. And you're just like, this is unbelievable. It's so <laughs> That's surreal. Just cool. It's yeah, so just... cool and personable. Yeah. We um you know, we got to meet the president and the first lady when we did the Kennedy Center honors a few years ago. And uh for me, uh, you know, we have a uh, my wife and I have a nineteen month old ba baby and Coco was in my wife's belly at the time. So we have a photo of us meeting the president and the first lady with Coco in the belly and this time we had Coco in our arms and it was just such an awesome moment, like to be able to talk about it and you know, she relates as a mom and it was just it was it was cool. Isn't that crazy how your kids they don't understand that you have you're meeting the first lady and they're like yeah whatever like i have my daughter here in the studio and usher was here and she didn't you know she could care less and i'm, I'm thinking in 10 years you're gonna freak out <laughs> but she didn't want to meet justin bieber you know she, uh, you want to meet justin bieber no but i need more batteries for my justin bieber toothbrush like, oh, you, know, you just don't get it kid you know but uh, yeah anyway uh, that must have been just awesome so congratulations on that and you guys once again no doubts hanging out it's jojo on the radio back in a second twitter much follow us at K studio tonight push and shove in stores uh, available for download all that craziness
September 25th. And, of course, you can follow them on Twitter, at No Doubt. All their individual Twitters, if you don't know, are posted on the No Doubt Twitter account. Adrian, any more new any new tats since I saw you last? Because, dude, I've, I've, been, I've been a tattoo whore lately, man. I see your Jack Skellington. That is awesome. I can't stop getting them. I do one, like, every 10 years, so I, I'm, okay. not, I'm not an addict. So the um, last time you did one was? Well, when I had my one-year-old. So I have her initials next to my 10-year-old's initials. These things are so addicting, man. I don't know why. I just, I got to stop. I'm going to look like some UFC fighter before it's all over. <laughs> Go for the neck. Get hardcore on it. Give Let's see it. Teardrop underneath yeah. my eye, you know. And, uh, man, you guys, I'm excited to have you guys in the studio. Thank what you. What am I forgetting to ask you guys? I have no doubt here. I, did I cover, <laughs> cover everything? Feels like. I mean, we're just excited to be doing this. We want to, you know, the whole goal is hopefully to play live again and do a tour. And we just want to share the record with people. And we want to say thank you to everyone that has been waiting around. And we're so excited to finally share it with them. There you go. You guys, that's no doubt. Thank you. Go on the radio. Back thank in you. a sec. Get that album, you guys. If you don't get the album, you're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.